Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Alfred and Pia. And today we have a very special guest, mga kaibigan. Uh, we have our very own parish priest dito sa Parish of the Lord of Divine Mercy sa Quezon City in Sikatuna Village. None other than Father Herbie Santos, our beloved parish priest. Good morning, Father Herbie. Good morning, Alfred, and good morning, Pia. Good morning, Father. Happy to be here with you. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Father. Thank you for sharing some of your time with us today. And uh, yeah, please greet all our viewers. Marami tayong following dito sa, ano, sa village natin. <laughs> <laughs> sa lahat ng mga nanonood at sumusubaybay dito kay Alfred and Pia. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Thank you for joining us today. So Pia, ladies first, no? Ikaw ang ano, ikaw ang first. Yeah, come on to start. So today, we're going to get to know Father Herbie a little bit more. Ano, we'll get up close and personal with him. We want to hear his views about certain things na, you know, pinagdadaanan natin ngayon. Because as we all know, we are still in a pandemic. And um, this, this period in time is really very challenging for all of us. Uh, I think we're going through a lot. And as always, kahit naman pre-pandemic, we always um, turn to diba, our faith. So it's always the it's always the the priest. Diba? Yan ang mga kinoconsult natin pag meron tayong mga challenges na, na nararamdaman or na-experience. So um, that's why we're very happy that Father Herbie said yes to our interview. So Father, I'll go straight to my first question. Um, you've been our parish priest even before the pandemic, diba? bago tayo nagkaroon ng, even before COVID-19 became a household name, kumbaga. So, ngayon na, uh, ito yung nangyayari sa atin. How has your role as parish priest, how has it evolved in the last year and a half? Uh, we'd like to to hear from you yung mga experiences mo mm-hmm. about your your role as parish priest during this very challenging time. Well, um, this is my first assignment as parish priest. <laughs> so uh, uh, many of the <laughs> many of the priests actually go through their full priestly life without experiencing a pandemic. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> na hindi man lang naranasan to. So I don't know why uh, I'm a pandemic priest in the sense na my first assignment so as a parish yeah. priest biglang may pandemic kay, kaagad. No? This is a uh, uh, two years into my ministry as parish priest, no. So, um, yeah, it's very challenging, and uh, uh, marami mga pagsubok. Pero uh, it's also it's also a great opportunity, no, to to see how we can uh, meet the needs, the spiritual needs of our parishioners, of our faithful at this time when they need God the most. So, um, as parish priest. Uh, my job is really to guide people closer to the Lord, to be to be a, a, a very loving father, uh, a teacher, and uh, a pastor to to the people of uh, this parish. So um, when I began my ministry as parish priest, of course, uh, we were doing the usual things that we were used to. Right. Alimbawa, pag uh, pag may parish fiesta. Andiyan, dami-daming tao. No? May, may mga fiesta masses tayo. Uh, may inibita tayo mga pare. May, may mga processions. May mga um, cultural night. Uh, bingo. Tapos uh, fiesta dinner. Yung mga ganyan. No? Uh, and even, even in, during Lent, uh, we have the usual uh, activities during Lent and also during Holy Week, which involved so many people no? uh, they would come here and participate in the services uh, but also before the pandemic we used to go to the areas no? so meron tayong mga area masses meron tayong mga um, stations of the cross meron tayong mga um, uh, divine mercy na enthronement sa mga bahay-bahay so uh, we were doing so many things on the ground no outside and this yeah. is these are the things that we are used to. So when the pandemic hit uh, and we were all required to stay in our homes, 
to go on lockdown and all of the masses were canceled na face to face including all liturgical activities this was really a a crisis for the church no this has never been done before at least as long as i'm alive i'm alive in this earth i've never seen <laughs> masses canceled like right. that no yeah. never so um as parish priest yun kaagad yung concern ko so how do how do we keep the faith alive because this is the time that we really need our faith Uh, and and this is the time that we really need to feel the presence of Jesus with us in in this difficult time. So, buti na lang as a director of social communications uh, diocese, we have uh, we had been um, preparing ahead of time our social communications teams in all of the parishes of the diocese without knowing that a pandemic would hit, no. Yeah. So uh, what we did was a year before, uh, we were training the parish SOCOM teams or the media teams of the parishes by giving uh, seminars and workshops on photography, on live streaming, on editing, oh, nice. and all of those things. We had a tie-up with the uh, PUP College of Communication. We had uh, professors and industry professionals who would give training every Saturday so that would be about 70 people 80 people every saturday who would attend we had uh, we had a general assembly and a media camp uh, where the graduates uh, competed with each other to produce um, some films no? uh, related to the 500 years of christianity so talagang uh, yung media camp namin that was uh, conducted uh, february February of 2020. That was the graduation. That was a culmination of the year-long training for media. And then March, the pandemic hit. So, exacto lang talaga. Exacto. We had people in place to go online, no? to, to, to cater to the online mass. And that's, what the, that's really providential. No? Kasi... <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way to explain it. Uh, that's really providential. So um, our systems were in place. We had vicariate heads of media. Ang ganda ng flow of communication. Our diocesan media tra- uh, was there to, to give uh, on-site um, uh, advice to the, to the media teams as they took all of the masses in all of the parishes online. So as um, director of all of that, No, siyempre, ang unang-una ko talagang iyo online yung sarili kong parok. Divide words. Kasi kakaya naman kung sarili kong parok yun, di ba? <laughs> so so I, I, I really uh, am very um, blessed to have a, a, a spectacular uh, media team here uh, headed by uh, Sister Sherry Versola and um, all of our volunteers uh, because they really stepped up um, and... Uh, ang nangyari noon, the last mass was, I think, uh, the last mass was Friday. I remember it very, very clearly. I say I was not the, I was not the priest who was going to preside the last mass. But I, I told the priest that I would make a, a very important announcement. No, so, yun after communion, I made the announcement. This is the last mass that we're going to have face to face. And then Saturday, the following day. Nag-online mass. Online na agad. Oh, online mass na kaagad. So that was the first one. It was really crude kasi it was just, <laughs> just done in our conference room <laughs> with, a, with a cell phone. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then um, the following day, Sunday, we took the Blessed Sacrament out. Kumbaga, we, we loaded it on a vehicle. Yes. And we, we went around the, the community. And uh, people were crying. Kasi alam nila na hindi na sila makakasimba eh. So when, when the first time that they saw the Blessed Sacrament visiting them around, they were on their knees, they were, they were crying. And kami rin, the, we, I myself with, with the altar service and seminarians with me, we really felt uh, that this is, this is how we, we were going to bring Christ closer to people. So uh, we were one of the first to do that. No? Um, and then of course, uh, many others, the parishes, followed suit after that no uh, and then slowly we were improving our online um, equipment our our software 
uh, magkakaroon na kami ng mga supers and stuff like that. So, <laughs> it, it, as, as we went through doing all these things every single day, uh, we were getting better and better at it. Yeah. So, it's now been uh, one and a half years. And, uh, and we are still doing the online mass every single day. Yes. Uh, so, so, and, and we have a, a big following, not just here in the in Sikatuna village or in the parish, but also in other countries. So mm-hmm. I, I receive messages from Germany, from Dubai, from New York. Uh, they're telling me that they're watching from abroad. So uh, that's partly the reason why it's in English. But, uh, yeah. Any, <laughs> but yeah, uh, nakakatulong talaga. And uh, I think that's the, the challenge for us priests at this particular time. Because... We, you, you can't go the traditional way anymore. Of course, you can, in a, in a certain way, preserve the most essential things. But the approach, kumbaga, how to cater to people, you have to be creative. You have to adapt to the situation. And you have to see how to continue to, to make uh, the presence of, of the Lord felt in other means, through other means, right. through other ways. So, so yun, yung, yun yung challenge. I think, some of the older priests um, are were finding it difficult in the beginning because bagong language sa kanila ito eh, in mm-hmm. social media but uh, now after one and a half years medyo media savvy na rin sila <laughs> pati yung teams nila they you know they're they're doing very well so uh, in a way uh, it's good it's good because um, the priests now realize the value of media uh, and how how to use that tool as as a means of uh, evangelization during this time. So definitely, we can't do some of the things that we are used to. Right. Uh, we can't we can't gather talaga na so many people together doing mm-hmm. the usual possessions and uh, activities. In that sense, it's it's kind of nakakamis, <laughs> nakakamis, because it's I mean if you see everybody face to face, it it's there's yeah. joy there. You feel the vibrant community. Community. But huh? Now that uh, you don't see them slowly, ngayon, no, that we're opening up, you kind of see some people, but you, there are some parishioners you haven't seen in 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 a long long time. Uh, so you you have to be creative also to reach out, like um. Yung Divine Mercy Apostolate natin, um, they decided to first have the Divine Mercy Novena uh, that was uh, by Zoom. So palaki ng palaki yun. There were 40 people first attending, tapos naging 60, naging 80, naging 100, ganyan. Until wow. they said, di na natin kaya sa Zoom. Let's just do it Facebook Live. Facebook Live. That's, yeah. you know, that's the reason why for one and a half years, uh, every three o'clock, we're doing it live sa Facebook pa rin. Yeah. Uh, and there are yeah, and there are even more people attending sometimes this 3 o'clock uh, prayers. Than the mass. More than the mass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they find ano, eh, uh, it very, very consoling to pray the Divine Mercy prayers. Eh. Yes. Uh, and uh, ganun din yung mga rosary, online rosary. Like the FRC did... Uh, this online uh, rosary where every family would pray the uh, one Hail Mary hanggang mabuo yung, yung buong rosary. Oh, no? So, oh, napakaganda. Nice. Kasi you would see uh, all of these families praying praying the rosary together. You see you see your fellow parishioners, fellow families. Uh, yeah, it's very edifying. So, yung mga ganyan, <laughs> yung naga, sila nag ano, no? sila nag initiate uh, mm-hmm. They tell me, Father, we want to do something like this online. And I said, go. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> um, even the youth, uh, the PYM and the Catechetical Ministry, they said, Father, let's have a formation uh, on this month of May. Uh, like we, we will have catechesis for our y- young members. And then after your, your talk, uh, we're going to have some sharing. Yeah? So they they have they have, they do it via Zoom, no? So the Facebook live yung talk, and then via Zoom they do the breakout sessions. They have this sharing, and uh, napakaganda because um, they they tell me what they share about. It's very rich. 
Uh, tapos meron pa kaming dialogue na uh, ano, dialogue with uh, the seminarian and the priest. So, we answer questions of the youth. Uh, and and their questions are very intelligent, very relevant. Uh, so, uh, in that case, uh, there's still a lot a lot of opportunity to to reach out to, to people during out, that, yes. this time. Yeah. And I guess I guess and sobra din tayong swerte dito sa community natin and I, and I'm sure sa ibang ano rin uh, parishes ganun din na uh, na replicate yung ganyan na movement na it still goes back to the community. Diba? Like you said there are a lot of volunteers and uh, the different groups are moving, diba? And uh, thinking of ways to reach out for it because um unfortunately this lockdown is very isolating. For all of us, diba? especially those who are uh, so used to, marami yung kakilala, everyday talaga nag church as in very active sila. I have a friend who said to me, para akong natanggalan ng, ano, ng limb, sabi niya. It's different. It's flat. Sabi niya, it's flat. It's, in, it's in, just in the screen. So I guess it's it's up to us din, diba? the, the community members, to reach out and ano find ways ano yung mga pwede natin gawin within our community so that we ourselves don't feel isolated because a lot of people are there like like kayo sa church and then the community uh, members also a lot of people are are there to to i guess hear us if we want um you know someone to talk to and there are like small groups that we can join all connected to to enriching our our faith during this time Diba? So, it's yeah. nice Maganda to hear. Yan, uh, yung yung nice sabi mo nga, Pia, na yung mga small groups that mm. you have a good support group na uh, maganda yan. Let's say, for example, if you... Kasi meron ako mga parishioners ngayon na you know, meron silang parang praying praying circle. Mm-hmm. Um, or yung... They, it's their group of friends na let's say four or five and then they choose... They designate a time and then they they come together on zoom and then they they do bible study they reflect on the word of god and then they do the sharing uh laking bagay noon eh kasi you you're interacting with other people uh you feel you're not alone and what you're going through is is not just um something specific to you but you hear other people also undergoing the same thing yes and then you reflect on the faith so yung mga ganyan mga initiatives are, are very good um, with regards to the online mass, no, um, there are pros and cons of the online mass. No, uh, we all know that the online mass is not the same as the face-to-face mass. Yes. No? Okay, because <laughs> it's not the same. Because it's in the face-to-face mass that you really consume and receive the real presence of the Lord, no, the the body and blood of Christ, um, soul and divinity. So it's really in the face-to-face mass. But um, for those who cannot go to the face-to-face mass, I encourage them talaga to still do the online mass. Kasi yung makalagay yung habit eh. Kasi like sinabi mo Pia, di ba? Some people used to hear mass every single day. Mm-hmm. Correct. If you cut that, if you cut that for a year, it's so hard to start again, di ba? <laughs> but but if, you, if you designate a certain time on Sunday and, and you say na, uh, I'm going to hear mass, even if it's just online. Hindi na break yung habit. Kung baga, nandun pa rin yung oras na nilalaan mo for the mass, so that it's it's not uh, very difficult to to try. Kung baga, to to go from online to face to face when the time comes, kasi na na sustain mo yung habit. And uh, well, what other people are 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 saying is in the online mass, um, they also get to to have a flavor of other masses in other parishes. No? Mas madali, di ba? Mas madali kasi ano ka na lang eh, di ba? Kung gusto mo si, si Orbo, so oh, sige, so, si Tante, oh, sige, ganyan, ganyan. So, uh, in a way, uh, there's flexibility, no? But, um, when you go back to face-to-face, again, you you reconnect with your your local community where you really belong, di ba? So, yun ang, yun ang babalik when, when we have more of the face-to-face masses again. Yes. Yeah. And we're looking forward to that. And I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to that. Kasi yung, yun nga, yung, it's a very social ano eh, kumbaga, activity, yung hearing mass. Diba? 
Yes, Actually, that's why ano eh, at the end of each mass na face to face pag Sunday, yeah, I I make it a point to to talk to the people eh. Hindi naman mahabang ano, but just to greet them. Kasi yes. para at least, 'di ba? Uh, I I can see my parishioners there's interaction between me and them. So I I want to bring that back eh kasi yeah. for so long medyo nahiwalay sila. Na nakaka-miss. <laughs> Galing. Actually, Father, ano eh, spoiled for choice nga ang mga tao sa online mass eh. Uh, kasi uh, dati rin, <laughs> uh, di ba, pagka minsan, you, you will really go naman to uh, time slot ng pare na gusto mo eh. Di ba? I mean, that is, there's no denying that. Eh. Either you go to a particular parish kasi nandun yung yung suki mo na parish priest. Sometimes it goes through lengths pa nga na ano eh, na na sasadyain mo kung saan lumipat yung favorite mo na parish priest dati, di ba? Kasi you're so used to the habit of listening to the mass with that particular priest or baka nagkaroon talaga ng deep relationship yung, nung, nung naging parish priest. No? But now, um, na, I, I, I spoke to a, 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 another priest. Uh, si, I went to a retreat and then nabanggit niya nga sa akin na yung online ngayon, uh, grabe rin yung avenue for feedback. So, mm-hmm. ina-encourage din daw kayong mga priests to really to really look at that feedback constructively. May mga vlogger nga daw who, who used to attend different masses at different churches and give feedback na, si Father ganito, bakit ganyan? Yung, yung sermon, <laughs> diba? Puro showbiz minag-uusapan. It's not even relevant to the gospel. So, parang ngayon, it's a, you can really, like what you said, you can go to Father Orbos or whoever you'd want to listen to 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 listen to the word of God, no, but uh, it, it also reaches a point. I guess that to mata as or or yung kung uh, how you can relate to like media, de ba? I mean, mm-hmm. you you listen to content or you watch content that you can relate to. I guess it's the same also with exercising our faith or or deepening our faith and understanding in in mm-hmm. how we exercise it. No? So, but but I I I I, I really. I uh, believe in what you what you mentioned though, in not kicking that habit away you know kasi ang dali eh napaka convenient na balikan ko na lang mamaya yan hindi na makailangan live eh yung yeah. yung ganung yeah. yeah. uh, feeling diba na, yeah. na it it gets parang mag, nagiging too convenient din eh diba so yeah. i guess you, yung us being parishioners us us being Christians and and Catholics no um I think it's always very important to be mindful and intentional with exercising our faith, diba? Like, um, yeah. ano eh, kasi dati, pangit man pakinggan, uh, I guess, wake up call to everyone na dito na ma, masusubukan yung pananampalataya mo, diba? Yung faith mo. Kasi kung dati, habitual Catholic ka lang or habitual Christian, uh, uh, kasi ngayon, diba? inclusive no inclusive na talaga tayo lahat dito mm-hmm. eh and uh, uh i i i've had that mindset uh of 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 being inclusive early on when i first attended an an, an ecumenical mass na shock kasi ako na na uh, yung yung isa sa mga matatali kong kaibigan is a soldier he's a he's a retired air force colonel Nag-attend ako sa PMA ng ecumenical mass. Sabi niya, pare, handa ka. Four hours ang misa dito sa PMA. Sabi niya, mga three to four hours. Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi ko, gusto ko lang naman mag-Sunday mass being the habitual Catholic that I, I am or I used to be. No? Sabi niya, kasi ang misa sa PMA, uh, Catholic, uh, Christian, uh, and Muslim. So, tatlong tatlong relihiyon pinagsasabay-sabay pala yan. And it's amazing na people are at peace attending an ecumenical mass. May may pastor na nagsalita, may pari na nagsalita, tapos may may Muslim priest din na who conducted the service. So sabi ko, wow! Parang, bakit ba hindi nangyayari ito sa mundo? E, sa, sa loob ng Filip, Philippine Military Academy, nangyayari pala yun on a regular basis. Sabi niya, that's and that's such a beautiful exercise of faith. And you mentioned a while back yung circles, small circles or cell groups. No, na I'm actually ano attending a small group na inclusive, all inclusive. It's a it was initiated by a friend um, 
who is Christian. And he opened it up. Sabi niya, Pare, it doesn't matter kung anong religion ka meron. Catholic, Christian, Muslim. You just attend and we just talk and we just help each other ano, um, uh, feed and quench our thirst for the word of God. So sabi ko, so I guess that's a very good deepening of, of, of faith. And, and uh, I, I'm very happy to, to hear that, you know, in our community, it's, this is not unusual. It's very common. And I guess the message for, for me here is, 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 is very clear also na we really have to seek it. Seek it. It, it, it. it will not just appear right in your face na ako si Jesus, makinig ka sa akin. It doesn't happen like that. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not supernatural. It's, mm-hmm. it, it, it has to come from oneself. And um, I'm, 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 I'm so happy to hear that you know, even with the way that the online masses uh, were 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 developed by what you shared with us early early in this in this in this uh, uh, conversations we're having or the sharing, na hindi naman coincidence yun eh. Nakaplano na siguro talaga mangyayari itong nangyayari ngayon sa mundo. No? So I guess uh, that 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 that's that's. That's really divine intervention, so to speak. Mm. I'll just uh, take from what you said, no, Alfred, yung, yung taking the initiative. Kasi, uh, well, in a way, God always takes the initiative. <laughs> God is always first, di ba? Yeah, like, even sa I amin mean, here sa, sa parish, we, we really want to take the initiative to, to bring the Mass to the people to, to bring liturgical services to the people, even to bring the Blessed Sacrament to people, di ba? Uh, but the people must also meet God halfway. <laughs> no, di ba? Kasi nandyan lang yan eh. Nandyan lang yan. Halimbawa, I'll give you an example. Okay, so if we have uh, the Blessed Sacrament um, going around the village and we announce it, di ba? Yes. Uh, let's say it's the Feast of Corpus Christi. We're going to um, do a motorcade and, and bring the Blessed Sacrament around. There are some people talaga who take the initiative and, and, and are really serious about it. Talagang nag, lalagay sila ng altar sa labas ng bahay, bahay. laging kandila, andun doon pa buong pamilya. Naglalatag pa sila ng parang mattress or whatever so that they can kneel. And talagang those who take the initiative uh, they they come they come home um, fulfilled. Parang they, they really felt that they, they met the Lord. Pero yung ibang mga tao na nagdidilig lang sa harap ng bahay, duma, dumaan yung blessing sa akin, hindi man lang pinansin. Of course, <laughs> wala kang wala kang iuwi doon, di ba? I mean, kasi hindi ka rin nag-effort eh. Kumbaga, you didn't, you didn't go out to meet the Lord halfway. Eh. So, in the same way with the masses, di ba? The, the online masses there, there are some people who put an altar, candles, uh, light yeah. candles, yeah. and then they when, when it's time to stand up, they stand up. Time to kneel down, they kneel down. They turn off all the devices and talagang they're focused. So, um, pag ganyan, you, you, your faith is nurtured. And then when you go home, enriched di ba, after the online mass. But there are some that the, the online mass is playing on their laptop, the TV is open, their cell phones open, tapos they, they tell me na di-distract sila kasi may nagme-message, tapos may, may nakikita sila, di ba? <laughs> so, so many things happening, di ba? And, and uh, you don't really put your heart into it. You don't, you don't really meet the Lord halfway. So um, what happens is you, you don't get the full uh, benefit of attending the online mass. So, uh, malaking bagay talaga yung, yung personal initiative na, uh, sige, I'm going to make an effort. I'm going to set aside time. Uh, and this is for the Lord. And, and the more that you, you sacrifice, the more, the more that you take it seriously, the more your faith is strengthened. So, alam mo naman ang Diyos, hindi na may milit, di ba? I mean, uh, parang ganyan lang, parang yes. naghain siya ng, ano, ng dish sa harap mo. O oh, ito, masarap to. Pero it's up to you kung kakainin mo hindi, di ba? O <laughs> hindi mo kakainin, edi, hindi mo matitikman yung masarap. So, pero hindi siya namimilit. So, ganun, ganun yung, yung Panginoon. Even before pandemic. Kasi in, before pandemic, 
the mask has always been there. <laughs> yeah. diba? The mask has always been there, but people igno- some people ignore it. Uh, so even now, in the time of pandemic, you can choose to ignore the online mask. You know, um, just to share with you, <laughs> uh, during the first months of the pandemic, um, I would open the, the church uh, after, after my online mass and expose the Blessed Sacrament for anybody who would, who would like to come. And uh, it's open to everyone. And uh, yeah, only about three or four people come. But it's open to everyone. So, I mean, you know, again, I guess uh, some people medyo natatakot or what, you know, but uh, just jo- goes to say, na, pwede naman, nandiyan naman, if you want, you can. So, so it's really it's really personal freedom in how you exercise it. And I just hope that in this time of pandemic, we have some really deep realizations about what is important in life and what is not, what is essential and what is not. And um, sana may realization tayo how important faith is and, and that we come out of this more serious about our faith than before. Yun lang sana yung, yung hope ko. <laughs> Kasi sayang naman if we go through all of these things and then we don't take with us life lessons. Diba? Right. Uh, lessons that would make it, uh, <laughs> that would enrich us. Diba? So, so yun lang. L- huwag natin sayangin yung opportunity for, for learning and for realizations. Mm-mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> May kinig talaga ako. Actually, yung, yung, yung personal initiative. Share mo, Dad, yung kay Father, anong pangalan ng group nyo? Thursday. Diba? Yeah, Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Kasi yeah. lahat sila, they have, um, yun na, the thirst to to listen, to hear, to hear the word of God. Yun na, puro sila mga dads. Mm. <laughs> diba? Thursday group. Yeah. Yun ang tawag nila. But, ako, Father, ang, ang question ko is, I mean, all around the world, kahit sa, when you turn on your, your cell phone, we see it sa feed natin na um, there's so many cases now of you know, people going into depression, halo-halo na, you know, anxiety because some lost their job, some, you know, some, yan, with sick or they lost loved ones. How, in our community, um, how, how do you, ano that, uh, help our our Hello, parishioners. Yeah. Meron, meron ba tayong parang group or I don't know, like a like a number that they can call for 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 mga ganitong concerns if they really just wanna speak to someone. Because I think it's important yun. Um, some don't really, you know, come out and say I have a problem. I wanna, you know, I wanna kunyari, speak to Father or I wanna listen to or attend Mass. Um, how do we help these people na parang feeling lost naman sila during right. during this time? Yeah. Well, um, there it depends on the level. No? Kasi what you're oh. talking about is mental health. No? Mental health right. issues. And uh, especially in this time of pandemic, uh, maraming may mental health issues. Uh, especially since isolated ka, ang isolated ka, hindi mo makita yung mga kaibigan, mga pamilya mo, you can't go out and then you're going through difficulties. Like uh, if you know of someone close to you who's sick or if your income is affected, marami talaga ang ano, uh, mental health issues. So um, the first thing talaga is is to to reach out to people right. and and to to say, you know, you need help. Uh and uh, usually, there, there will be a friend or a family member who you can run to. Or if they're really close to you, they can kind of sense that you need someone to listen right. to, you know, a listening ear. So at, in, on, the, um, on one level, that, that's okay. I mean, just to have a support group. Kasi mahalaga yan eh. Uh, dapat lahat tayo ay meron support group. But... Um, if it's already on a deeper level na medyo, medyo cause for concern na, then it requires a more specialized intervention no? for somebody who is kumbaga, used to dealing with this kind of thing. Right. Like a, a, a real uh, pastoral counselor. 
um, before the time of pandemic, uh, we had a a pastoral counselor assigned here talaga in our parish. Um, so she used to see uh, many of our parishioners. They used to come to her for uh, sessions. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was very fruitful. I, I received very good feedback about it. Um, but now, kasi because in the time of pandemic, mahirap yung isang oras na face-to-face na mag-uusap kayo. So, so we do things online, online, mm-hmm. online uh, parang consultation. So um, yung counselor natin now is, is connected with CEFAM. Uh, we've had a, a relationship with the Center for Family Ministries ever since we had our um, parang family congress here mm-hmm. where, where all of these yeah. counselors came here and then we had a lot of families and uh, we had uh, all of these sessions according to age groups. So, may relationship tie with Sifam. So, what we do is right now is we refer people to Sifam, and and Sifam does the uh, counseling, no, on online through Zoom. Um, sa akin naman, every once in a while, someone someone wants to talk to me as a priest. Um, so i sin schedule ko lang yon, no, sin schedule ko, and then I'm always conscious about the venue. Uh, kasi nga po, medyo mahirap ng konti at this particular time. no But uh, we accommodate it naman. We see what we can do to accommodate. Um, confessions, we also do confessions. Confession. Which is, uh, hindi, face-to-face. Face-to-face. So, uh, <laughs> by appointment. <laughs> by appointment. By appointment. Yeah, so what we do is, uh, we do it sa church, dun sa confession, but it's open. We leave it open. Yeah. And then we disinfect before and after and then there's barriers parang ganyan so right. medyo uh, minsan well confession is not really uh, the venue for counseling right. <laughs> it's not eh, kasi yeah. people sometimes make that mistake na <laughs> doon sila naglalabas ng saloobin eh. but it's really for forgiveness of sins if you have a serious sin grave sin yeah. you have to confess it. it's fine but some people during the confession, uh, na natutulungan rin sila. No? That, I mean, um, there's a grace that the sacrament gives you. Now, if you're struggling with something, with sin, or you're going through a difficulties, uh, after after you confess your sins and you're reconciled with the Lord, uh, gumagaan rin yung pakiramdam niya. Pakiramdam. Some, yeah, some people are in tears. Some people are so grateful. So, yeah, it's a powerful sacrament uh, even during this time of pandemic. Mm-mm. I think yun yung, yun yung gap eh. Maybe a lot of people naman are not, you know, in serious need of halimbawa, um, you know, seeing a, a, a doctor right away. Pero yung <laughs> feeling of, yun niya, yung feeling of being alone or isolated, siguro, um, yun yung parang, yun yung gap father na, na, na naririnig ko rin around me even with friends and family na mm. um, not being able to go out or not being able to specifically so yung going to ano, hear mass you know going to meet the other neighbor the parishioners ganyan malaki yung kumbaga nagkaroon ng gap dun sa ano nila dun sa life nila so uh, well yun nga reach out like what you said no? reach, yes. reach out and uh, find a way to Feel that need, because yeah. we, we have different ways of exercising our, our faith. Some have, um, you know, they they do the daily novenas, kanyan. But I think it's important also um, for us to hear from you, like for for the younger, ano naman, for the younger, kumbaga, parishioners or the viewers, kumbaga, dun sa mga teens and or, or young adults, like is it, how important it is to have that you know, like the uh, time, that time slot during your day that, you know, you let go of all the gadgets, all the distractions mm-hmm. and just, you know, give yourself that time to, to pray. Yeah. So actually, that, that also keeps me sane, Pia. You know? <laughs> Every day, I, I spend time in front of the Blessed Sacrament. So whether it be 30 minutes or an hour, but yeah. every day, in silence, you just pray in front of, of the Lord. 
and uh, you empty yourself out of all of your concerns all right. of your whatever you're feeling diba parang let's say may mabigat kang pinagdadaanan uh-huh. or or you feel bad about something that happened and uh lakang matakbuhan sometimes just to be quiet in front of the lord for 30 minutes and, and just just know that god is there listening to you ang buhos mong lahat uh, nakakagaan ng loob no yeah. so I don't know if maybe per, if people can't go to the Blessed Sacrament now, although the the, the church is open every day, yeah? I mean, mm. they can just come and, and just yes. pray here in church. Uh, but if they want to do it in their own homes, in front of their altar, just to spend some time there in silence, yes. it will help. It will really help in terms of mental health. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Mental health and yun yung connecting to... to the Lord, di ba? Kasi yun yeah. nga, there's so many distractions, so many noise going on. So, it's it's good to know na, halimbawa, yun, yung mga hindi makapunta sa church, hindi makapunta dun sa, to see the Blessed Sacrament, to just, you know, um, stay, uh, in a, maybe in a quiet um, room and then yes. give yourself that, ano, that time to, to really just pray and yun nga, pour out everything <laughs> yun sa mga yeah. loob mo, di ba? So that, oh. in doing that, kasi kahit na you're just you know saying it parang yun yah na na tatanggal yung ano eh, yung burden na yun eh. yeah. actually ano eh I just share with you pia no kasi some of my parishioners nga parang lumalapit sa akin kasi if you're familiar with my homilies I kinda leave some uh, questions <laughs> at the end of the homily. Na reflection questions, di ba? So, right. three, uh, sometimes three points and then reflection questions, tatlong reflection questions. Some some people tell me, Father, you know, yung, yung mga questions mo, sinusulat namin yan sa notebook. <laughs> Tapos meron kaming notebook na ganyan. Tapos ang ginagawa namin uh, as a family, we, we, we sit down and then we answer that, yung mga questions na tinatanong mo. And then, We find it so um, fulfilling na we have something to reflect about and then meron kaming natututunan. So, yun. Yun ang sinishare nila sa akin. Ako naman natutuwa kasi at least ano, uh, you, there's a take-off point. Diba? There's a take-off point for where you want to reflect. So, yun naman ang mahalagay. Diba? So, if you, don't ha- if you don't have any guide question or take-off point, you can always go back to the scripture if you want to reflect. Because uh, the scripture of the day is is so meaty, so you can you can reflect from there. So yun lang uh, reflection, silence, time with the Lord. It it's such a big help every single day. Yeah. Thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Para sa akin din yun. <laughs> 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 yeah. I guess lahat tayo parang naging diba nagmumultitask kasi tayo na, nandito tayo like work from diba work from home tapos you know all, all of these other things yeah. going on that yeah. you need to do naman outside of the house but, but we still have to be very careful ganyan so because alam natin na nandyan pa rin yung COVID so I guess lahat tayo maabot dun sa point na parang may may ano may nabuburn out tayo. So it, it's always good to like you know, sabi ni, ni Father Herbie to just you know stay still and give yourself that time to to I guess we to re, really reconnect with with God, di ba? Kasi it, it's only by doing that I think na hindi tayo makakapag-pray kung ano ka eh, you know, you're running at 100 miles yeah. per hour. So you really have to to stop stop mo na uh, 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 hindi siya yung ano eh kasi sometimes iniisip natin na uh, uh, let's see if I can find time di ba pero actually if, mm. if if you if you just say you're going to find time you'll never find it kasi wala <laughs> di ba eh, sinabi mo naman kasi from, from beginning in the morning until ano mo hindi ka naman talaga magsa-stop eh di ba kasi dire- diretso na yung ginagawa so right. if you don't find time you make time Uh, like you even even it, yeah you, you make, make time, time. So, e- even sa akin eh let's say um kasi ako lang naman ang dito wala naman akong kasama dito <laughs> so, <laughs> wala naman magsasabi oy father magdasal na tayo wala naman ganoon di ba so ako lang talaga eh kung so kaya sa sinasabi ko talaga sa sarili ko after after my 6 pm mass 
uh, mag-aano talaga ako dyan. Magsiset aside ako ng time. So, right after 6 p.m. mas, wala akong gagawin, kundi magdadasal ako sa Blessed Sacrament. At saka, kahit na pagod, busy, maraming ginagawa, hindi, hindi ko tatanggalin yon So, parang automatic na yun sa sarili mo na ito yung oras para sa Diyos. Kasi kung hindi mo isiset aside yon kung hindi mo sasabihin sa sarili mo na gagawin at gagawin ko to, hindi mo magagawa eh. So, it's just like exercise, di ba? Exercise, you have to force yourself na Okay, 6 o'clock in the morning, mag- magbibisikleta ako or mag-jogging ako or something. Kung hindi mo gawin na may schedule ka na MWF or something like that, ang hirap na gawin kasi matutulog ka na lang. <laughs> so, it's really um, your your determination to set aside time every single day for the Lord. So, okay. eh, kaya nga. So, if, if it's silence, then fine. If it's online mass, then fine. But, uh, ano talaga eh? you, it takes like i said it takes initiative and uh, your determination to say na every day ito talaga para sa justo parang ganoon yeah. actually yung, actually yung oras mo para sa just actually oras mo rin para sa iyo eh. true true <laughs> yes <Diba>? yun, yun. <laughs> kasi you know you know the way god works is you think you're being generous to God, but actually, God is more generous to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> oo, kasi kung sasabi mo, ito bibigay ko sa Diyos, sasabi ng Diyos, ah, wala yun sa bibigay ko sa iyo. <laughs> Parang ganun. <laughs> kasi, di ba, you cannot outdo God in generosity. Eh. Bigyan mo siya ng lima, bibigyan ng sampu. Bigyan mo siya ng 15, bibigyan ka niya ng 25. Ganun lang, Diyos. Eh. Hindi mo talaga siya matatalo doon. Hindi mo siya matatalo. So, every time na magbigay ka ng little something sa Diyos, you always come out a winner. You always come out a winner. On a more on a personal note, Father, like, ikaw sa tingin mo, like, what do you, how do you see the next, you know, year, where do you see us in the, in the next coming year or two? Or like, kasi marami tayong mga, oh, sana malapit na mag, ano, di ba, mabakunahan na lahat, will, you know, somewhat have this, you know, parang sense of normalcy, kahit pa paano, but um, for your particular community, where do you see us in the next, ano, year or two? Uh, you know, Pia. Most hopeful I, 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 I can't, I know, eh, I can't predict. Eh. I, I'm taking it one step at a time. Yeah. You, you know what happened last Christmas, diba? Um, last Christmas we were kind of easing up on the restrictions already in terms of number of people who can hear yes. us. In fact, we were so blessed to have uh, uh, yung yung simbang gabi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Simbang gabi. So we had the simbang gabi. Both the the Misa de Gallo at uh, 4 30, 5, 5 o'clock in the morning, and then the Simbang Gabi at 8. Yeah. So we were inviting priests from outside. Daming naga attend kasi hanggang sa salabas na yung mga tao. Street, um... Pero may distancing, ha? as in may mga upuan, may naglaki kami ng mga pintura dun sa, sa, sa road so that they can stand with a 1 meter, <laughs> 1.5 meter distance. distance yeah. So maayos ang lahat, maayos ang lahat. And then, uh, Talagang we were very optimistic um, about the future because, ba, I mean, uh, okay na yung, ano, yung Christmas. Eh. So we were planning for the fiesta. Ng, ano, uh, and then biglang, again, <laughs> second wave or third wave, uh, sara na naman si ba. Wala na naman doon sa fiesta. So talagang ang hirap makabuelo. No? Ang hirap makaplan. Uh, so uh, uh, at this point, um, we're nangangapa. We're hoping na there will be a sense of uh, normalcy since many people are getting vaccinated. Um, more and more people are going back to church little by little. Uh, but we don't know how long that will take. Ako naman, uh, we're just, we'll just continue with the online masses because so many people um, find that very fulfilling, very nurtured. I mean, their their faith is nurtured, and they they are very thankful for the online services that we have. But slowly, and uh, we're we're going to open up little by little according to the guidelines. No? Yung yung face to face activities of the church. So, kung pwede, mm-hmm. gagawin. 
Kung, kung hindi pa pwede, hindi muna. So, ganun na lang siya. Kaya, so, uh-huh. ano ngayon, kapakapa, kapakapa. No? So, um, but, you know, I'm very, very grateful for our volunteers. Kasi, uh, you know, our volunteers uh, are here, whether it's the community pantry, whether it's the liturgy, um, despite the threat of COVID, no? uh, they come here, they serve, uh, And it's really edifying to see how they give of themselves in this time because they recognize the great need. And uh, hindi naman aandar ang parokya kung walang mga volunteers. Yes. So, so yes, I'm very, very grateful for those uh, volunteers who are here. And we will remain to be ano, hopeful and optimistic <laughs> yeah. for everyone. For everyone, actually not just in our community, but for the whole world. Yan ang, ano, I think, dasal ng lahat, di ba, Father? Yes, true, true. That we will be safe and healthy and, you know, uh, namimiss na, namimiss na ng mga tao to, you know, to interact with other people. So, I, I guess, important yun na, yun na sa'yo mo na you are optimistic, that you are hopeful and sana, yun, ma, mahawa yung maraming tao dun sa ganun na mindset yung being hopeful and being optimistic. And, Faithful. Parang iniiwasan mo yung, yung positive na word. Alin? Positive. <laughs> <laughs> Noong no, April, <laughs> nag-positive na ako. <laughs> iba na ngayon. So I yeah, hope that people will become positive in the process. Parang hindi, hindi, hindi. Iba na yun. Optimistic, optimistic. Hopeful. Uh, yan, uh. yan. <laughs> Ay. Iba na yung ibig sabihin ng positive. Oo nga. Iba na yun. Iba na Yeah, but true, true. I mean, we were looking forward to that uh, slowly but surely. Uh, I think in some countries naman, they're, they're already having some sense of normalcy. Lalo-lalo na yung mag- nag-herd immunity na, di ba? Yes, yes. So, um, some of our seniors here who are above 65, they're very excited. No? So, they, they told me na. I'm kasi sure. Kasi <laughs> ATF, sabi nila, pag fully vaccinated ka na, 14 days after your last dose, pwede ka nang magsimba. So they're they're very hopeful now. They're because we have a group here who's all, all of them are above 65. Eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, so talagang excited na sila mag- magsimba, makita yung mga kumare nila. <laughs> so and some are are asking, "Father, can we serve already?" Sabi ko, "Oh, yes, if you're fully vaccinated." <laughs> Sabi ng IATF, "Pwede na, then go." 'Di ba? So yan, yung mga iba talaga na miss nila yung pagsa-serve. Oh, oh. Uh, so so yeah, it's something to look forward to. That's uh, that's uh something to be thankful for. Now, na things are improving. There's something to hope for. Yes. <laughs> And Father, are you guys still accepting uh for for members of our community who want to help uh as a church? You no, know? how can they help? Yeah, well, uh, definitely. <laughs> We will not say that we are accepting any help. We're actually in need of much help during this time. No, uh, first, sa ating liturgical activities, uh, we could always use more volunteers sa ating mga ministries. No? So, kasi like like I said, no, hindi lahat nakaka serve, hindi lahat nakakalabas. So that that's why our greeters and collectors may mga nag-join uh, during the time of pandemic. Nagkaroon kami ng recruit, recruitment campaign. So nakakatuwa kasi may mga iba naman nag-join. So kailang, kailangan kasi dyan sa mga altar servers, mga lectors, mga day ministers, mga ganyan. So that's one way if you want to uh, have volunteer. Second is uh, dito sa ating mga outreach activities. No? So how can you help? You can help by volunteering sa distribution or you can send donations in cash or in kind. So um, right now, uh, we've, we've had uh, a lot of community pantries every, every weekend. Uh, but starting July, we'll, we'll be doing it once a month. Uh, kasi medyo taxing talaga siya sa, ano, eh, no? sa, sa volunteers at sa donors. But we'll continue to do it. That's once a month. So you can help out there sa community pantry. But it's not just a community pantry. Eh? Kasi we have a distribution every once in a while to our four areas where we give mga food packs. So mga gift checks, food packs. We also 
um, try to pinpoint who are the poorest of the poor, yung talagang walang trabaho, mga pamilya nangangailangan, and then we give them those food packs so you can help out there as well. So yun yung mga, yun yung mga uh, areas where where people can help sa, sa ating mga um, distribution, ng mga ayuda, or pwede rin sa mga liturgical activities. Or you can just donate to the church and uh, we can be the ones to decide how to uh, to use the money for the church operations or for activities. Any last uh, pabaon to our uh, viewers, Father Herbie? Thank, well, thank you very much for your time, no? uh, for indulging us. Uh, it's really been a fruitful uh, sharing this morning. Um, and uh, I'm sure uh, this won't be the last. No. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for answering our questions and yun nga, filling that gap. Yun ang, uh, with our conversations, kasi with family, with friends, uh, yung keeping our faith strong, yun yung isang nagiging ano yun eh, common topic yan because, because nga of, of our current ano, situation right now. So, it's good to, to speak to to you dahil, <laughs> di ba, na, na, ano namin, we, we, we were able to, ano, to hear kung ano, ano ba, ano ba yung dapat namin gagawin on a more, you know, personal level, like if you're just at home, hindi ka, hindi ka makalabas, di ba? Yeah. So, maganda yung mga na-impart mo na, na sharing with us that, you know, we have to be mindful of of you know, keeping our faith alive and staying connected not just with the community but also with with our with our lord so thank you father thank we'll you. let you we'll let you i know um do the closing <laughs> message or, Dag-dag, yeah. you know, or even like a, a prayer for it, it's, it's up to you we'll leave it up to you so, yeah so first of all thank you alfred and pia for inviting me to this uh, very pleasant uh, session. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a joy to, to uh, have this conversation with you and to, to share some thoughts um, with our parishioners and viewers today. So sa mga nanonood sa ating mga parishioners and viewers, um, I just want to reassure you that the church is here for you, that our parish is open and um, we are we are doing what we can to to help you with your faith and then to help you with what you're going through right now. So, um, sabi nga ni Jesus sa gospel, do not be afraid, just have faith. So, have faith that things will work out, uh, that God is there for you, and that uh, the community is also here uh, giving you support and giving you love. Uh, and I hope that you feel that through through the things that we're doing here in the parish. And um, yeah, continue to be hopeful and optimistic because we are a people of hope. We are an Easter people. We know that as we shine our light in the darkness of this world, then more and more people will feel the presence of Jesus and uh, we can get through this all together. And so um, allow me to... Uh, lead you in a closing prayer. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we thank you for this session uh, and for the learnings uh, that we have imbibed for all the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, uh, for always being there throughout this pandemic and uh, always making your presence felt to us. We ask you in a special way, Lord, to bless us and to protect with your gracious help those of our loved ones from all dangers, from all evil, from all infection. Lord, uh, we ask you to continue to guide us as we struggle to meet the challenges that uh, face us every day. Give us courage, give us strength, deepen our faith so that we may be able to surmount all of these obstacles and so that we be able to fulfill the mission that you have given us. Lord, uh, everything that we do, all of our efforts, we offer unto you for your greater glory as we pray. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 
As it was, As it was in the was beginning, beginning, is now, and ever mm -hmm. shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> Mabuhay. <laughs> Mabuhay. <laughs> thank you very much again, Father. Yeah, uh, thank be you. Be be before I, I end the recording, <laughs> for all the viewers out there, Thank you very much for being with us, uh, for sharing your time with this intimate session. Uh, Father Herbie, maraming salamat po ulit. Uh, talagang nakakatuwa po. Nag-uumapaw po yung aking ano, uh, puso sa puso. Uh, nangyayari ito. <laughs> yes, Masaya. thank you so much, Praise Father. Praise the Lord. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. So, um, to all our viewers, uh, please stay safe. Please keep safe. If you've liked what you've watched, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the yes, like and button. And hit the like button. Like and subscribe. Well, uh, <laughs> yes, um, it will help us a lot to sustain this, to develop, develop it even further. And uh, we will be including uh, the links of the Parish of the Lord of Divine Mercy on the description yes. box below. If you want to donate, if you want to help, share your time. You could also physically go, kung bakunado na kayo, <laughs> you could physically go to the parish center at Maamo Street, corner Madasalin Street here in Sikatuna Village. So, thank you very much. Take care everyone and God bless. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.